Hi everyone, this is Ms. Tovar, and I'm going to do a rereading of the book we covered in the library uh, called I Fall Down, and it's written by Vicki Cobb and illustrated by Julia Gorton. It's a nonfiction science book about simple experiments to introduce the basic concept of gravity and its relationship to weight. Know what happens when you spill your milk? It drips down. Throw a ball up into the air. Watch what happens. It goes up for a short time, then falls down. Try tossing other things up in the air. Your mom's keys, a block. When something falls, which way does it fall? Does it ever fall up? Know what makes things fall? It's a force called gravity. As long as you are on Earth, you can't get away from it. Gravity is always pulling things, know which way? Down, down, down. You can see how gravity pulls. Take a spoonful of molasses or honey and point the spoon down so that the goo dribbles back into the jar. Watch it drip. The goo stretches and gets longer and longer. It looks like a ribbon streaming into the jar. Gravity pulls the molasses from the spoon back into the jar. Have lots of dropping races. Things fall so fast, it's hard to tell if there is a winner or a loser. But no matter whether the objects are big or small, it seems that it's always a tie. The only time you have a clear loser is when you drop something that the wind could easily blow away, such as a feather or a tissue. You see air fighting gravity only with very light objects. If there were no air, you would find that gravity pulls everything at the same speed. Astronauts prove this on the moon where there is no air. Every dropping race was a tie. Amazing, but true. Does everything land with the same force? Or do some things hit harder than others? Here's a way to find out. Have someone drop a, a dry sponge into your hand from about a foot above it. Next, try a small bar of soap. Which hits your hand harder, the sponge or the soap? Try dropping lots of things into your hand. Soon you will discover that some things hit harder than others. Now, hold the bar of soap in one hand and the sponge in the other. Which is heavier, the sponge or the soap? Move your hands up and down to help feel the difference. Your hands stop the sponge and the soap from falling to the ground but you can still feel gravity's pull on the soap and sponge when you hold them in your hands. This pull is called weight. You can see if one object is heavier than another without letting either of them fall. Here's how. Get two rubber bands the same size. Tie one of your shoes to one rubber band. Tie one of your parents' shoes to the other rubber band. Lift both shoes by the rubber bands. Which rubber band stretches more? The heavier shoe stretches the rubber band more. Each rubber band acts like a scale to measure weight. Your weight is a measure of how hard you fall when you fall down. How much do you weigh? How much does your mother or father weigh? The more you weigh, the harder you fall. But you don't have to fall in order to weigh yourself. A scale tells you how hard you fall without you falling at all. So simply get on a scale. Yay! The end. Thank you for reading with me. And if you'd like to read it again, just go back to the beginning. Bye.